Hi. It is still Monday, July 26th. I have three minutes left. I just came back from working out. Not really. It's been a couple hours. <laughs> just I've been resting. Uh, it was raining this morning, so it's like humid weather a little bit. But anyways, it's besides the point. I, I have to speak to this because it, 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 I have to make it known. Make it known. Very clear. Very clear. To those who've watched my videos from the beginning, I want to make it clear that no one has hurt me. <laughs> that no one has hurt me. There's this belief that I'm crying, and just because I'm crying, someone hurt me. And, and I don't blame anybody. And I'm responding because Mr. Arizona sent me something, and and I was I've been reflecting on it, I've been reflecting on it, and he put, you know, he put he put. Unfortunately, sometimes guys hurt beautiful women like you, and when a good man comes around, it's hard for you guys to trust him. And I was sitting with it, and I'm just like, I don't, I don't like that comment. <laughs> it was triggering me. It was triggering me because he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. So I, I responded. <laughs> and I've been sitting about, like, thinking about what to respond. And I'm like, okay, here we go. Here we go. <sighs> I put, I was reflecting on what you said. And then I sent that quote back. And I said, I don't believe people intentionally hurt others. My pain has nothing to do with him. It has everything to do with me. My choices, my involvement, my responses, my beliefs, and I should have added my expectations. I take ownership over my heartbreak and do not blame anybody. And I believe you thought I needed saving. I believe you jumped in too quickly, despite me speaking my truth. You chose to not listen to my truth, believing you knew best. I see this because you remind me of the old me, the me that thought knew better than others, especially those who made mistakes around me, the me that saved others or at least tried to. There is no shame in my healing. I am relishing in this process because that is what my soul wants so that I can grow. I am still facing my own mirror about my own behaviors towards others when I get triggered. That is my heartbreak, a lifetime of heartbreaks that I brought upon myself. And just as I brought these experiences upon myself, then the only savior I need is myself and no one else. I am not afraid to be alone. I truly enjoy my alone time. I don't know if you knew that about me. There is still a lot about me that you don't know. And I believe you underestimate me and my abilities, but that's okay. We are all mirrors for each other and often reflect, reflect back the image of ourselves. That is what I see. Take from this whatever applies to you and leave the rest behind. So I just want to make it clear that all of this is because of my expectations that I put on this poor man <laughs> who was just doing the best that he could at that time in his life who was exactly where he needed to be. And he's entitled to his choices, just as I am entitled to mine. <laughs> so I just wanted to make that clear. That's all. I just wanted to make that clear. That's all. Bye. My name is Yubi, and in case you haven't figured it out, this footage is capturing my experience as I learn to navigate my personal spiritual awakening. Um, I am learning that this experience is unique to each one of us. Um, in whatever way we believe we are embracing living our truth, this just happens to be my journey. Um, and despite me having a graduate degree and a license in clinical social work, this by no means is intended to replace any type of mental health advice. This is just me on a personal level. Uh, documenting my experience, shedding light on the truth that I am learning and discovering for myself, um, and really inviting you along for the ride. Um, if by some <laughs> magical chance you find this content to be helpful in any way, shape, or form, please 
click the like button, you know, share the message, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have an Instagram account, a personal one, and one specifically for this channel that you're more than welcome to check out. Um, I'm an open book. Um, I have also created t-shirt um, t-shirt designs. I'm wearing my favorite one right now, which is the North Node. Um, uh, design, um, but I have that and other things uh, that you can look at um, inspired by this process and journey um, and I have the link in the description box as well as in the about section of my YouTube um, channel. So you're more than welcome to check those items out. Um, any type of support is, you know, great. <laughs> um, again, if, if you find this content really helpful or meaningful, sometimes when we um, take that step and, and be vulnerable you know with with showing what's inside our hearts and what's really our truth we realize that we're much more connected um, than, than what we thought we were and so um, I hope that um, as I'm living this experience it, and you, that you find some type of truth for yourself or, or find some type of um, ability to heal in some way just by relating, you know, just just by knowing that you're not alone. That really has been my goal with, with this process, um, not just um, being able to connect with others, but really for my own healing. Um, it's definitely been a therapeutic experience and a very creative one for, for myself. So I thank you and um, I wish you all the best and, you know, we'll see what else um, comes next for me.